or auto thrust column is number one, it's on the far left. So over here, you're going to see, see A dot floor. And this is alpha floor. It's telling you that again, toga power has been commanded. And what's going to happen is alpha floor will give birth to, okay, or it's going to uh, default into toga lock. T-O-G-A-L-K. And toga lock means what? Toga power, again, trying to simplify this and spoon feed as best as we can. Toga power is locked. Toga power is locked. How do we get out of toga lock? Very simple. Click the instinctive disconnect push button. The IDP. Okay, why they call that? Who knows? Okay, but the red buttons, brother and sister. Click the red buttons. Okay, now, another way to get out of toga lock, not recommended, but just for your information so you understand, the active range of your auto thrust system is from just above idle up to and including the climb detent for two engines. Okay, so we'll put here climb detent. This is for two engines. And if we're single engine, we have just above idle up to and including flex MCT. This is with one engine operating. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, because if you bring the thrust levers back below the just above idle part, right? So just bring them all the way back to idle to the stop, you are effectively turning the auto thrust off. So you could get out of toga lock by retarding the thrust levers all the way back to idle. But keep in mind, why did you get alpha floor and toga lock to begin with? Because of a low energy state or an approaching low energy state. And that being said, would you really want to close thrust levers to idle with an impending low energy state? Probably not. So the preferred way to get out of alpha floor slash toga lock, really, is to click the instinctive disconnect push button. Now, frequently you will hear instructors tell you the, the, um, the technique of match and mash. Match and mash technique. And what that suggests is we match the thrust lever angle, commonly referred to as the TLA, right? Uh, the TLA, which is visible on the engine warning display on the top where our engine gauges are. So we match the thrust lever angle to the actual thrust output, which would mean that we would bring our thrust levers to toga, then click it off. You can certainly do that. I just want you to understand that's a technique so that when you disconnect the auto thrust, you do not have an, a quote unquote uncommanded fluctuation of thrust where maybe it's a little bit aft of toga, you're not expecting for engines to spool down. That's the reason a lot of instructors are going to tell you match and mash. But what you need to understand is you don't need to match it to get out of toga lock. And I emphasize this because I asked a student, what if I didn't match it and I just mashed it? Okay, proper terminology, not really. But instinctive disconnect push button, if I just disengage, if I disconnect the IDP, would it work? Would it get me out of toga lock? And they were unsure. So I want you to know with certainty, for sure, yes, it will. Click the red buttons, you're getting out, out of uh, toga lock and alpha floor. Okay?